Hi, my name is Steven Scotti. I'm recording this from Vienna, Austria, and our team members will be at the end of the presentation. And we did a little project to demo the various APIs that OpenAI has, mostly GPT-40, Whisper for text-to-speech, and DALE for generating images from text. And I'll talk a little bit about the possibilities and other frameworks that there are for medical imaging. And, and large companies are already doing a lot with all this technology. So when GPT-40 came out, I was really curious and interested to see how it would do with just regular plain x-rays of like bones and chest and things like that. And um, so that's the, the first part of the, the demo is I attempted to build a little interface to do that. And it, it's remarkable how well it does. It's not anywhere near as good as some other frameworks that they have. But these things are changing every week now. And, and Google has Medgemini now. I don't know if that can handle images, but that's another medical re related one. So the first thing we did, you'll see it in the demo, it basically allows you to upload a JPEG ping image or anything that's an image, I guess, that the engine can interpret. And then I told the to, told OpenAI that you're a radiologist, you're board certified, and I want you to interpret the image and then send us back a report and then also send back a JSON formatted report. And it's it's quite good. I haven't really evaluated that thoroughly, but it's kind of interesting how, how it performs. And then, you know, the whole other issue with all the medical related stuff is regulatory and legal and, you know, vetting it to make sure that it's capable of taking care of people when lives are at stake. So this is just sort of a demo of, of that part. And now one of the nice things about medical imaging is these days there's a lot of open source projects that are open source for people to develop on. And the ones, I've used Orthanc quite a bit, and the, the demo might show part of that. There's another one called dicom 4 chi that's been around for decades. That's also open source. And then in the medical field, there are international standards, and the one for medical imaging is DICOM. And then for database and information exchange, it used to be mostly HL7, but fires is coming along and it's actually mandated for a transition to that in multiple different places around the world. And um, HL7, there's a, you know, I have URLs in for a lot of these. There's a public server that's accessible also. And then that last one is, I think it's a public data set of, of chest x-rays. It's really large. I think it might be almost 40 gigabytes or so. So there are a lot of resources out there for doing training and for evaluating these things. In this slide, I just put a few references for Whisper. Whisper is the uh, speech-to-text part of OpenAI. They have a GitHub repo, and there's a lot of other repos out there. And the nice thing about Whisper is you don't necessarily need a open AI key. I think it can be hosted locally on, on your own server if you know how to uh, set it up and configure it. And I think there are even desktop versions that will run on a Mac or probably a Windows machine. And then with DALE, if that's how you say it, I just started playing around with that and that's an example of generative AI to generate images from a text description and it's really quite a lot of fun to play with. I'm sure there's a way to create videos in the, the same way. And in the demo, I'll, I'll even have it generate um, like a chest x-ray. I, mean, I could even maybe try describing, I want one that shows pneumonia or like a lung cancer or something like that. And then these are our team members. And I just hooked up with all these people like two, three days ago at the beginning of the hackathon. And I don't really, I think all these guys are from Pakistan, except maybe one or two, so I'm not even sure, but I'm sure I'll keep in touch with them after the hackathon is over. So thanks for that, and I'll try to put together through a few videos. And the website is live, so maybe I'll add a QR code for that to the talk.
or demo. On the left, this is the, the Docker package, and it's deployed in the cloud on a server. And I don't know if anyone's used Docker, but it's really great for development and stuff. And there's, um, I, it, this is it in the cloud. This is sort of like Docker desktop in the cloud. It's called Portainer. And then um, Django is what we used. And I'll try not to spend too much time here, but um, the API is mostly here. So this is for the chat completion, this part. And then I added things for the audio, which is whisper, and then to generate images down here from text. So that's that's the backend API using Django, and Django is being used as a web server also. And then the, the website is on the right. And I have a bunch of references here just up top you know, for development use reference. And the top is the GPT-4.0 demo. And then, you know, in the back end, this is what's getting sent to OpenAI. And so I just need to select an image, which I have. So I'll pick this one first. And then submit it. And it'll show a little preview. And it'll take about 10 or 15 seconds to come back. And then it should spit out the response below that as a report and then as the JSON formatted stuff. So this is not bad. Yeah, I got a hip replacement, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, that's pretty much correct. So let's try another one. Let's try, oh, let's try this one. Whoops. So that's a wrist and it's broken. So it's a, a broken wrist, bro broken radius. And it may do okay with this one too, which is pretty amazing. So it says comminuted distal radius fracture with dorsal angulation and displacement. That's pretty good. So what else? What about this one? Well, let's try this one. So that's a chest X-ray, there's all kinds of stuff wrong on there. You can't see it very well, but there's a bunch of tubes and lines and fractures and hardware and all kinds of stuff. So that's taking a little while longer. What does it say? Well, diffuse bilateral, blah, blah, blah. That's, you know, that's probably correct. It says there's an endotracheal tube, which I think is true. So I'd have to go through and really analyze that, but it, it, it missed a lot here, but you know, it, it considering it wasn't designed for that, that's, that's not bad actually. And so let's try this, um, start recording, testing, testing, that's already enabled. So to say, what am I gonna say? Hi, I'm testing the whisper endpoint for open AIs speech to text and then submit it to the back end wait a few seconds and see what it says hi i'm testing whisper envoy for so that's pretty good and i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure it can transcribe and translate bi-directionally potentially so that would be something to really look into now, the last one is this, what I just said. Let's, so let's try that. This takes a little longer, like maybe 15 seconds or whatever, and it'll probably have not what I was thinking about, but I didn't describe what I wanted very well, apparently. So let's see what it does. Yeah, well, that's better. It's got six people and they're packing away at a desk working on something. So that's not bad.